Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to integrate ClickUp with Microsoft Outlook. Let's begin. Integrating ClickUp with Microsoft Outlook can help streamline your productivity by syncing tasks, emails, and calendars. Of course, there are several methods how you can integrate the two platform and one of them is using the native calendar integration here in ClickUp. Now, ClickUp offers native calendar integration with Outlook, allowing you to sync your tasks and due dates with your Outlook calendar. Now, once you have opened your workspace, I want you to go to the... Now, I'm going to go to the left-hand panel of my dashboard and go to the up, upper left, where you can see the... Uh, and click settings here. There should be an option for the integrations. If you can't find the integration in the left side, just go to the App Center. And from here, type in. Now on the left side, you would see the option for calendars. All right. You have Apple Calendar where you, you can sync Apple Calendar with ClickUp. We have a separate video on how to sync ClickUp to Google Calendar that you might want to check on our channel. And of course, we have the Outlook Calendar. I want you to click on that option. You see. You can configure Outlook Calendar, set up subscription URLs for use in Outlook, or you have one way sync to Outlook wherein you can use a calendar subscription URL to see your tasks in Outlook. All you have to do is click on configure. Once you've done that, I want you to click on continue. All right, so uh, you can choose what you want to sync from the workspace down to the list level. For example, in my workspace, that's going to be deep labs, how to tutorials. And the space is going to be for deep labs. Folders are going to be projects. List is going to be um, project one. All right. But again, this is very dependent on your kind of environment or workspace. Now you can select what you would like to sync. For example, is it going to be tasks assigned to you or all tasks? All right. Now, uh, from here, all I have to do is click on connect. Click on save and click on connect. You have the uh, calendar subscription URL or iCal. This is that. You might want to use that later to have more control over the integration. I want you to click on it. Now I'm switching over to my Outlook account and i'm going to hover to the left side for the calendar to make sure that we have integrated the uh, platform successfully and as you can see doing this integration can help you manage tasks emails and calendars in one place by integrating outlook with clickup you can now reduce the need to switch between your platforms allowing you to handle tasks directly from your inbox now another method that we can use is using the platform of make.com now, basically, we can simply connect ClickUp and Microsoft 365 calendar integrations. Just select the trigger from this uh, side of ClickUp. For example, it triggers when a specific folder event happens. And then select the action for the uh, Microsoft 365 calendar. For example, it triggers when a specific folder event happens and it creates a new calendar. Or maybe it creates a new event. All right, and all I have to do is click on get started free. I'm going to log into my account. You can even swap the apps if you wanted, right? Now, once you are logged in, I'm going to create a new scenario. I'm going to choose basically um, click up. There you go. Uh, it triggers when a specific task or some task event happens all right okay that's going to be for a uh, workspace is going to be deep laughs how to tutorials filter by all uh, task and the event tab is going to be a task created okay folder is going to be uh, maybe um projects and task created list id is going to be project one and I'm going to task ID is going to be task three. Just follow along. And for example, task created. I'm going to click on save OK. And click on OK. And let's add another module, which is going to be Microsoft Calendar or Outlook Calendar to see if we got that.
and we're going to use this one for example it triggers and searches for the event or maybe let's click on the creates a new event just click on ok and just follow along all right create connection click on save and just authenticate these apps wait for it and as you can see the status is going to be shown here if it's successful calendar subject is going to be something like this start date is that end date is going to be like a task id reminder yes importance going to be um low sensitivity is going to be um maybe normal plain text and click on okay all right so once you've done that you would be able to integrate these two platforms and then you can now help minimize app switching allowing you to handle tasks emails and schedules from one place and ultimately boost productivity all right now the last platform that we are going to explore is using zapier and from here you can simply connect click up to microsoft office 365 calendar and automate your work by clicking this orange button to have all of these endless possibilities you would be forwarded to the zap we're going to name that and of course from here you can choose the event from the click up and if you are a big fan of our deep labs channel you know that we have so many zapier automation tutorials for you guys to of course help you solve your problems quickly all right so there's a lot that you might want to check and if you haven't already you might want to click the uh, subscribe button to get your notifications wherever we upload some videos here okay now going back to the zapier integration just choose an event for example it creates a new task of course just click on continue to see if it's working on the workspace all they're gonna do is select that click on continue folder is gonna be around um, maybe projects users is gonna be like um, list select a value for list project one users is gonna be that and click on continue all right you can test the trigger to see if it's working once you've done that, you would be able to integrate ClickUp with Microsoft 365 Calendar. You can now sit back and relax because Zapier will do all the work for you. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next video.